So what is the difference between an AMS and a CRM for insurance agents? I'd like to thank uh, Blue17C, I believe, for asking this question. Love to answer it for you. It's pretty simple. The there's it, It's very detailed, but simple. <laughs> there's a lot going on with both of them. The easiest way to think of it is AMS, Agency Management System. You can call it software if you want, but it's Agency Management System versus a CRM, which is a Customer Relationship Management System. They're both softwares. The AMS is a must. If you're going to be part of a network, we have a network you could join. You could join SIAA, whatever network you're part of, or if you do your own, there's a way to connect the insurance companies that you work with. So if you've got Nationwide and, and Allstate and uh, Progressive and Safeco and all of these companies that you're going to quote through, most of your AMS softwares are where your quote platform sits. It allows you to input the lead into the quote, tell it where it came from, you can quote the person out, and then when they purchase it, you mark it as a sale. Once you've done that, you put in the premium and the policy number, and then the next day or a day after that, the actual companies that you quote will download that information into the AMS system. That agency management system is allowing you to organize your database of clients. You can do it and use it as a CRM, as a customer relationship management software, but it really doesn't do well. I've used the AMS 360, which is one of the most popular ones for about four years, and I'm currently using EasyLinks. Both of them are actually really powerful and really good. There's just about two years worth of learning to figure them out. <laughs> There's so much stuff that it does. Here's the powerful piece of it. You can download all of that data. You can download copies of your clients. You can have it automate birthday cards. You can have it automate text and phone calls. You can have it pull up a customer based on their phone number, their email, whatever they're doing. If they're calling in to get information, you can quickly access their policy real time. The only thing that you can't do that it fails at, and almost all of them fail at, is you can't make changes in the AMS system. Can you quote it in there? Will it connect to the companies? Yes. But if you make changes, you're going to have to go over back to the company you sold them with, make the change the following day, it will download. So how does that differ from a CRM? That's the customer relationship management. And it technically does a lot of automation similar to the other. The problem is the AMS just doesn't do a good job of it. And the CRM is your marketing tool. That's your secretary on speed. <laughs> that person can handle all of your automation. So typically a CRM is gonna have a pipeline where you can slowly work a person from the beginning of a quote all the way to the end of a sale. Or if you have a lost campaign, if you lost the deal, now you can have an automate future follow-up. For example, if I get a new lead come in, I want a text to go out right away, assuming they've opted in to text legal piece, right? They've opted into text. I want to email and a text and a phone call right now. It'll notify me that there's a new lead in the system. It'll send them a text letting them know that I'm available. It'll send them an email in case they're an email person. If I don't get a hold of them that right away, it'll tell me at 430 on mine that I have to call them again. I might call them two days later and five days later and 15 days later and 45 days later, and they might have gotten 12 emails in the meantime. It keeps the relationship with that person active. You can use it for service too. So if you want to have some sort of a pattern that you would normally go through for a customer, you can have it automate all of that. Now, if you're looking at different ones, I personally would recommend that you look for a couple major features. If you're in the PNC industry and you're looking at an AMS or a CRM software, you really need to know a couple things. One, for the CRM, you need to make sure that it has text. Is the text from two different phone numbers or one phone number? I want it to be from the same phone number. The reason being is some of them, even though they're not that expensive to do, you can go anywhere from $50 a month all the way to $500 a month. I believe on average you're going to be about 100 or maybe a little bit less than that. But if you're doing it that route, you want to make sure that you connect them. So if you add people into your network, let's say you hire an employee, you could have the same phone number text and it'll organize it to them. But it's a little weird that you're texting from one number and then calling from another. It creates a little bit of a disconnect with customers. The other part is, does that text allow photos? That's actually a piece that most of them don't offer. And 
It's absolutely a must in the PNC industry. I can't tell you how many times I needed a picture of the house or the roof or whatever the case is, a deck page. They are sending me screenshots of things and it's a lot easier for them to just text right into my software so that I can download a copy of that and send it over to wherever it needs to go. Phone built in is a must, so you can make phone calls right from it. Some of them have what's called a power dialer, so you can make multiple calls really fast. They're gonna have email marketing, different campaigns. Those are all like built in pieces, calendars, tasks, reporting, all of those features. You're gonna find that there's hundreds of companies that are trying to get into this industry. And some of them do really well, but those are the main pieces that I would focus on is cost is a major factor, clearly. Text, but with images is a factor and having a phone system that can be built in. Tons of them allow you to integrate phone systems, but now you're paying $80 a month for a phone and $100 a month for the CRM software. And it doesn't really seem feasible at the end of that process. Sure, you can go with one that's $40 a month and 60 or even 30, but sometimes they don't connect. And there's just so many more problems that can become of that, that it's really a give and take on what you're gonna use it for. For us, we dial leads as about a third of our business and we need a software that has really good task management. I've tried the more expensive ones and that's where they failed me, is when I loaded leads, I had to click five, six, seven clicks just to get to the lead. And I'd call them and they weren't interested. Now I gotta click six more things to get out of it. It's not worth it. I need something where I can click once, dial the lead, or go into a power dialer and hit start. Both of those things are gonna be powerful if you're working leads. If you're not working leads, you don't need it to just be a powerhouse. You just need it to automate your process. What email would you send on day one, on day five, on day 50, on day 100? What phone calls would you make? Would you follow up once, twice, 10, 30 times? It's up to you how often you do it. It's just a matter of which one and what process is gonna fit your style. And I know the next question if you are researching this is why can't I connect my AMS and my CRM together? Very few, if any, work well together. The one that I tried that did, I loved the company and loved the process, but it just didn't work very well. And especially if you're with a network, the networks don't necessarily connect because they want control. I'll, I'll do a 30 second explanation on that. It's, there's a whole lot of video and ask questions. I wanna answer them if you have more of them. But if you're part of a network, let's say you joined our network with the company we're with, we're not gonna be able to, or if you join the biggest network in the world, it doesn't really matter they're going to download into that company's name because you're using their name on the back end to connect and get direct appointments with these companies. So on the paperwork, you're gonna show up, you're gonna be the person. It, it doesn't look any different, but when it comes and downloads, it's gonna first download into the master account. And then from there, you're gonna be like the sub or the management account that actually wrote the business. So that's gonna go into your company. There really won't be much of a difference except you have a master. That's different than with some of these if they want you to connect directly to the companies. Well, because the companies are already directly connected to the master, they don't offer a second connection. So you can't get the direct download like the master would. And you can't break off from the master because how would they know what to pay you? They won't know that the policy came in in order to give you the credit. That's where a lot of them break off to where if you're looking at AMS software, where you really got to just understand that if you're part of a network, you really don't have much of a choice. You're just going to use the one that they give you. If you're doing it all on your own, and you're getting your own appointments. Now you've got a little bit more options and you've got a little bit more control on choosing which one you go with. Because they are two different things, most AMS softwares don't care to connect to the CRM. They don't want the CRM to screw up anything in their system. So they don't allow you to direct connect or integrate most to any CRM software in general. Obviously there are some that are eventually gonna come out with their own. And I think in five years, it's gonna be a completely different story to where all of your AMSs are gonna 90% of the time be built with a CRM that's fairly decent enough for us to want to use them. But for now, some of them, you'll just have to download your book. If you wanna use the CRM, you'll load it into there. 
Personally, I don't even mess with it. Right now, all we focus on is the CRM does the marketing piece, the AMS does all of the management for customers. Customers don't know or care either which way, they just know that this is my phone number. If they have questions, they can either text or call me, and they're happy. For me, I know where I'm going depending on what I have. So when I mark a customer as a customer, I know that they're in the AMS software, not the CRM. As I mentioned before, let me know if you have more questions on this. Hopefully this was helpful, explains the difference. I went a little bit in depth. Hopefully it wasn't too much. If it wasn't enough, let me know and I can explain more as need be. This is mainly the biggest pieces that you're gonna look at between an agency management software or system versus a customer relationship management software or system. Should be a CRMS. CRM is Customer Relationship Manager. I'm Mark W. Flockhart. I'll see you soon.